Hello there and good morning. Why is the government so intent on shutting the country down? As per usual, please like, subscribe and comment below and buy a mug with my mug on it. So the latest is that 1.3 million people have been pinged. Yes, they're in the pingdemic. They're part of the pingdemic. They've all got pingitis. And how many working hours does that mean that the country has lost or will lose in the coming days and months? And the government has said it has no intention of changing this app that controls all of this between now and mid-August. And I bet you a pound to a pinch of salt that it changes things for the worse when they do amend that app. Anyway, what their government has done is exempted 16 sectors of the economy from the ping so that they can uh, still go to work even if they've been pinged, presumably if they've had tests and all the rest of it. Now these 16 sectors are as follows. Energy, civil nuclear, digital infrastructure, food production and supply, waste, water, veterinary medicine, essential chemicals, essential transport, medicines, medical devices, clinical consumable supplies, emergency services, border control, essential defence and local government. And they'll join the already exempt NHS workers. Now, government guidance says about this that uh, in the small number of situations where the self-isolation of close contacts would result in serious disruption to critical services, a limited number of named workers may be able to leave self-isolation under specific controls for the purposes of undertaking critical work only. So it's not a blanket exemption. It only covers named workers if you've got a letter from a government department to say it's okay for that person to go to work if they've been pinged. And according to reports, it only covers about 10,000 workers out of the 1.3 million. So much for learning to live with COVID-19. We don't seem to be doing that at all. We're not living with it. We're still looking at huge swathes of people being locked down. All we've done is we've changed the way we're locking them down. Instead of saying you've got to lock down in this area or that area, we're just saying you've been pinged, you've got to lock down. And no one knows when they got pinged, really, do they? They don't know who they were in contact that got them pinged. How on earth does it all work? So the, the restriction just merely morphing, as I've said before, into all controlled by an NHS technical app. We're being controlled utterly by a, an algorithm. What does that tell you? It, the, and in the end, those that want some time off, you know, I want a quick I want to spend some time at home. They'll use the app at every available opportunity. The people that can afford time off, the people that are still getting paid when they're off. And those that don't or can't do that and who are desperate to get to work so that they can actually earn a living, strange old thing, they aren't going to ditch this app. They're going to switch their Bluetooth off. They're not going to use it. It's a pointless waste of time. It's only going to affect, or it's only going to lock down those who want to be locked down, in all honesty. Anyway, what do you think of the pingdemic and the pingitis everyone's catching, only if they can afford to catch it? Please like, share and comment below. And thank you for watching.